What are derangements? It's a very interesting topic. Now let us consider a set of n distinct objects. Now there are n objects and if these objects have to be placed in such a way that they do not occupy their natural or original positions then the set of permutations possible will give rise to the number of derangements. For example, let us consider 1 and 2. Two objects 1 and 2. Now this happens to be 1's original position or the natural position and this happens to be 2's natural position. That means the position of 1 is here, the position of 2 is here. Now if these objects have to be placed in such a way that 1 is not in its position and 2 is not in its position, what is the alternative? I can place 2 here and I can place 1 here. So there is only one way in which two objects can be placed in such a way that 1 and 2 are not in their original position. So we define the derangement D for two objects which is only one way equal to 1. So this is the only way, 2, 1. Now let us consider three objects. If there are three objects, 1, 2 and 3, and they happen to be their original positions, so we have to find out how many ways these three objects can be permuted in such a way that 1 is not present here, 2 is not present here and 3 is not present here. Now how many ways do we have? So let's say I have 2 here, 1 and 3. So I've got one permutation and I can have 3, 1 and 2, right? So is there any other possibility of arrangement? No, it's not possible. So therefore, D3 is 2. So there are two ways in which three objects can be arranged in such a way that 1, 2 and 3 do not occupy their positions. So this is referred to as derangements. For n objects, we write dn. So the number of arrangements, derangements, is given by dn. Now if the number of objects is less, suppose you have two objects here or three objects here, we can find the number of derangements by trial and error method. But if there are n number of objects, now there is a formula. Now what is that formula? dn equals n factorial into 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial and finally plus minus 1 whole power n 1 by n factorial. So this is the formula here. So suppose there are n objects. So I have n factorial into 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial. So the sign keeps alternating and finally you have minus 1 whole power n 1 by n factorial. So this is the formula which you have to remember. So let us write the formula here dn equals n factorial 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial and so on plus minus 1 whole power n 1 by n factorial. So let's take a few examples. Find the derangement of 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we have to use this formula. Now this is with the condition that n is greater than or equal to 1. Now what happens if n becomes huge? Of course, can this be approximated to a value? Yes, of course. Now if the value of n is very large, then dn becomes n factorial and this becomes a constant which is e power minus 1. Okay. So if n is very large, if it is beyond 8, 9, then you can just write d n equal to n factorial into e power minus 1. Now find the derangements for 1, 2, 3 and 4. So according to the formula d4 equals 4 factorial 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial. So we have 4 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 which gives us 24. 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 24. So 1 1 gets cancelled. So finally we are left with 24 
So if I take the LCM here 24, so I get 12 minus 4 plus 1 right so 24 24 gets cancelled so it is 13 minus 4 which gives me 9 so d4 is 9 so there are nine ways in which four objects can be permuted in such a way that 1 2 3 and 4 are not in their original positions d5 find out d5 so 5 factorial into 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial so we know that 5 factorial is 120 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 24 minus 1 by 120 right so if you solve this you will get the value as 44 now let us try to find out what is the value of d8. Now d8 is of course n factorial. Now as the value of n becomes larger and larger, so this value tends to a fixed number which is e power minus n. So as the number n, as the value of n becomes larger and larger, this entire term can be approximately written as e power minus 1. So this almost becomes a constant, so which is equal to e power minus 1. So therefore, I have d8, which is n factorial into e power minus 1. That is 8 factorial into e power minus 1. So we know that what is 8 factorial? It is 40320 into e power minus 1 is 0 0.3679. So it's approximately equal to, so which is 148. 3, 3. So as the value of n becomes larger and larger, so beyond 7 onwards, you can use this expression where dn equals n factorial into e power minus 1. Next example, at a racetrack, a person bets on 10 horses. How many ways he loses on all his bets? So there are 10 tracks. So let's say one track 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 10. And let's assume that he loses all the bets. That means none of the horses reach the horse which is moving along track one does not reach one and so on. Right. So therefore we need to find the derangement for n equal to 10. So n is equal to 10. So what is d10? It is 10 factorial into e power minus 1. So what is this value? This value is approximately equal to, so this is 10 factorial into e power minus 1 is 0 0.3679. So we get a value I've calculated. It is approximately 1335035. Now this is a very important and an interesting problem. From a set of all permutations of n distinct objects one permutation is chosen so you have n objects they are permuted and one permutation is chosen at random now we need to find the probability that it is not a derangement right so how do we do this so therefore i have to find the probability that the permutation is not a derangement right so if it is a derangement then I have dn, isn't it? So dn equals n factorial into e power minus 1. Now what is the probability that I pick a permutation and it is a derangement? So dn will give me the number of possibilities of derangements and the probability of it being a derangement is n factorial into e inverse divided by n factorial which happens to be the total number of possibilities or permutations. So this is the probability of getting a derangement. Now what is the probability of not getting a derangement? Of course it is 1 minus probability of getting a derangement. So therefore probability of not getting a derangement. So can I call this as P of D bar which is 1 minus probability of getting a derangement which is 1 minus so factorial n of course gets cancelled into e power minus 1. So this gives us the approximate value probability of 
choosing a permutation that it is not a derangement is 1 minus e power minus 1 but what is e power minus 1 we have actually made a approximation right so we have approximated this as e power minus 1 so let me substitute it here 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial and so on if I remove the brackets I get 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial is 1 minus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial minus so on so this gets cancelled so we are left with 1 minus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial and so on so this is the answer probability that the given chosen arrangement is not a derangement is given by this expression here right so here remember that we have approximated this entire term as e power minus 1 which I have substituted it here so we get the probability that the given arrangement is not a derangement the next example there are eight letters to be sent to eight distinct people right and these letters are put to eight different addressed envelopes now we have to find the number of ways so that at least one letter goes to the right person so there are eight letters so letter 1 2 3 4 and there are eight envelopes right it may happen that the letter which has to be sent to the first person may get into the second envelope right so first let us try to find out the number of ways or permutations so what are the number of ways in of placing these eight letters in eight different envelopes so number of ways of placing eight letters in eight different envelopes is of course eight factorial right so now we need to find that at least one letter goes to the right person that means we have to eliminate all the dearrangements so therefore the number of ways in which at least one person gets the right letter now what is that given by that of course is given by 8 factorial minus d8 which is 8 factorial minus now what is d8 d8 is 8 factorial into e power minus 1 so let's take 8 factorial outside 1 minus e factorial so i get 8 factorial 1 minus e power minus 1 is 0.3679 and I've calculated and you get the value as 25486 a very easy problem next question how many D arrangements of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 start with part A you have 1 2 3 4 in some order and B 5 6 7 8 in some order so here this is a very interesting problem so you have numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we have to find out the number of d arrangements such that the first four start with 1 2 3 4 itself in some order so therefore here if i consider these four i cannot have 5 6 7 8 here right and of course i need to find the number of d arrangements so therefore for these four numbers i have to find the d arrangement that means d4 and 5, 6, 7, 8 are localized here itself. So again, I need to find the D arrangement for these four numbers, which is going to be D4. So it's going to be D4 into D4, right? So what is D4? We have already found out what is D4. So D4 is 9. In the previous example, D4 is 9. So 9 into 9, which gives me 81. So there are 81 ways. Second one, it's starts with 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then of course, these four will definitely be 1, 2, 3, 4 in some combination. So 5, 6, 7, 8 can be in any combination here because 5, 6, 7, 8 are occupying the positions of 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can arrange them in any order. So therefore, if I have to arrange four numbers, it's going to be four factorial. And here of course, two, 1, 2, 3, 4 are being placed in the positions of 5, 6, 7, 8. 
so the question of dearrangement does not arise because they are not in their original position so i can arrange them in any way so it's going to be 4 factorial so 4 factorial into 4 factorial so that's going to be 24 square which gives 576 dearrangement so you have derangements 576 and here 81 derangements the next one is an interesting problem in how many ways can mrs ford distribute 10 distinct books to her children and then collect and redistribute the books so that each child has the opportunity to pursue two different books so let's try to understand this so you have mrs ford she has 10 books and these 10 books have to be distributed to 10 children right so in how many ways can 10 books be distributed to 10 children so it's going to be 10 factorial now let's say that you have kid 1 gets book 1 kid 2 gets book 2 3 4 and so on so if the first kid gets a particular book i will name the book as book 1 if the second kid gets another book i will name the book as book 2 and so on up to book 10 now what is mrs for doing she is recollecting the books back and then she is redistributing the books so when she redistribute the books the kid one the child who is present here in this position he already has read book one right the book which has been numbered as one right so now he should not get book one whereas the child who is here in position two should not get book two that means basically i need to find derangements for n equal to 10 right so here if the books have to be redistributed again such that each child gets a different book so therefore i have d10 here so in the first case i have 10 factorial in the second case i have d10 so therefore finally the number of derangements would be 10 factorial into what is d10 10 factorial into e power minus 1 right so this is going to be equal to 10 factorial whole square into e power minus 1 so this would give me the total number of derangements right so you just have to remember that initially you have 10 children and these children are free to receive any book so therefore you have 10 factorial right so you have realized that derangements is a very interesting topic and pretty simple so do make sure that you solve more problems and do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching.